Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you, mighty man in battle. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. E ma ko bodo bo shi kala ba sokoloto i da bran sokoti ya pa la kon shi kabada kansa i bandwa seketen la kon shapanti ma ziga bron sokoporwa kateya. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh God. You are wonderful. <laughs> you are worthy, oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh God. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Kadadarabashi, kadababasukalata. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh God. My God, goodness. Sabada bashi kalata. Esu galada da boshi kabalata. Esu gabada bosha kanteleke shaka. Mako bro godo bon sunada da bosha kayate. Iza bron shi gabada basokoloto. I gabron shana kate la kon su kalatasha. I gabron shaka ten tolo kon shi kalata. E su kalata, e su makata ya koshata. E barwa katen so ponta didi di shata. E le gro kon shamara katon su kalate. E ko brusa barakato shakayata. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are excellent. Esu galada bo shakaya na konsu kalata. We lay the crown and worship you. Thank you, Jesus. We lay the crown and worship you. We lay the crown. And worship you. We lay the crown and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay the crown. And worship you. We lay the pride and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay the crown. And worship you, Kada Baba Sukalata. We lay the pride 
and worship you. Oh, be lifted. Kada basu kalata. Above all the God. Le koma sakabaya ke shaka. We lay the crown. And worship you. Oh, glorious God. We praise your name. We the crown and worship you kadada bosu kalata we lay the crown and worship you Child of God, in the same way, I want you to open your mouth and begin to worship the Lord. Begin to worship Him in your own words. Begin to talk to your Father. Mako bado bosu kalate ya kapansha i gabron soko tolo koto pansha kaya teka maso brokonsha maki ya kabas soko yoto i dabra kate ya kosha kaya teya. Lebra soko boyo kosha mana kateya kateya ba ezokonto la kaparua kateya kansha. Father, we worship you, King of Glory. We adore your name, mighty man in battle. We lay our crown to worship you, Jehovah. We lay our pride to worship you, Jehovah. No one is wonder yada bon shakayata. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. We exalt your name, King of Glory. We magnify your name, mighty man in battle. Zakon shama kate ya kabarua katansha. Elegorua katabara kate shakaya te ya. Elekon shapate kapron sokoloto. Father, we worship you. We worship you. Abba, Father, we worship you. We worship you. Mighty man in battle, we worship you. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. You are lifted above any other name. People of God, open your mouth and begin to exalt the name of Master Jesus. He is awesome. He is wonderful. We give you glory, Jesus. 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 No one is wiser than you. No one can ever take your place for you. Remain the same. Mako bodo bo shaka ba yada bo soko ina broncha manakate ya kala koncha. Child of God, worship the Lord. He says they that must worship him, must worship him in truth and in spirit. It's another moment in his presence. I want you to lift up your voice to him and begin to worship him. Begin to render your worship unto him. Begin to tell him how great he is. Begin to tell him how faithful he is. We worship you, Lord. Without you, we cannot do it. Without you, Lord, we are empty vessels. Without you, Lord, we cannot reach that point in which you want to. We begin to commit this session onto your throne of grace. Father, come and have your way. Come and take your place. Jesus, have your way. Come and take your place. Lord, I want to thank each and everyone that is present here. I want to thank you, oh Lord for their lives. I want to thank you for their families. I want to thank you, Jesus, wherever they are watching me from. For distance is not a barrier. I thank you for what you're about to do in their lives. I thank you for the souls you're about to touch in this session. As their hearts are lifted up, as their spirit are connected to you, Maka Badaban Sokoyoto, Aragada Bababa Shakayate, Lebron Chomonokolo Kotayante, Azapen Shakalakataya, Erwakante Shapantalako, Mazakante Lerebo Shaka. Oh, glorious Father, we worship you. Ancients of days, we exalt your name. No one is wiser than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you, remember the same. We lay that crown, oh Holy Spirit of God. Come and have your way. 
Agada Bansoko, come and take your place, Makabaya Concha, Eruaka Bansokoloto, Abarakate, Shakalakate, Ebaruaka Pea, Katabo Shaka. Without you, we are nothing, Lord. Without you, we are empty vessels. Amako Bongo Bon Shikalata, we are in your presence, Jesus. Come and do what no man can do. Come and change the story of your people. Come and touch the life of your people. Masa bada baba 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 shakayate. Elaga bayana kon sokoloto. E barua katensha na paya katea. Ilagro soko poyoto loko shaka. Ida brokon sika la katesha. E mako broko to lika bran sokoloto. Lord, I thank you for each and every one of them that are connecting. Father, Lord, I thank you for their lives. I thank you, Holy Spirit of God. The reveal of sacred, Lord, I thank you. Mako bada bo shikalata. Not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for their lives. I thank you for the lives of their children. I thank you, Holy Spirit of God. No one is wiser than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remember the same. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We give you glory, Abba, Father. We give you glory, mighty man in battle. The God who knows not sleep, no slumber. Cobrogon Shana Palakatea, Esa Brand Socorro Acatea, Alabana Panama Shekente Le Conta, Ah Yako Shakayatea Lava, Ah Macruba da Banso Prosho, Ana Brosha Maracate Shaka. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, glorious Father. We worship you, ancients of days. We worship you, the lily of the valley. We worship you, the bright morning star. We worship you, the I am that I am. Massa Manacadabo Shakayatea. Take all the glory and adoration. Receive all the glory and adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have worship. It's another moment in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and there is liberty. God has made you to see this day of today. It is not because you are righteous, but it's because he has made it so. So I want you to lift up your voice in the same manner. Just thank him. That Father, I thank you for everything. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. It's not by my power, but by your power, Lord. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Just thank him. Just thank the Lord, someone. Just thank the Lord. If you have a grateful heart, then you're going to thank him. Father, I thank you for my loved ones. I thank you, Lord for my family. I thank you for my husband. I thank you, Lord, for my children. Just thank the Lord, somebody. Thank each and every one that is Father, I thank you for each and every one that is watching me right now. Father, Lord, thank you for their lives. Thank you for their families. Thank you for their children. Thank you for what you're about to do here in this session. We give you glory. We give you praise. Come and have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for answering prayers in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Shalom, family. I want to use this opportunity to welcome each and every one that is present here. And if this is your first time of seeing me, this is the atmosphere of possibilities. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to welcome each and every one that has been here and has been standing with us, has been supporting this ministry. God bless you all. Sister Jessica, I see you. King Better, you're welcome. God bless you. Mommy Clemens, I see you. Mom KPL, you're welcome. God bless you. I see each and every one that is connecting. Gabas, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, I thank you for the life of your people. I make a prophetic declaration by the reason of their presence in this session. They are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. They are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. I said they are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. They are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. They are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. They are not going back the same in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Benita G, I see you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you, mighty man in battle. You are the mighty man in battle. 
El Shaddai. You are the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Shammah, you are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, you are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. Kada baba basukalata. No one is greater than you, Lord. You are God forever. We bow before your altar. Holy are you, Lord. No one is wiser than you. You are strength forever. Kadaba sukalata. We bow before your altar. Holy are you, Lord. Kadaba shikalata. Holy are you, Lord. Masoko bodobo shakayata. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. No one is greater than you. No one can ever take your place for you remain the same. Father, Lord, we are here again once more to worship and glorify your name. We have come to return all the glory and adoration. We pray, Lord, may you make yourself manifest in this session today in the name of Jesus. Lord, I begin to commit it and everyone that is present here. I begin to commit them onto your throne of grace because no one is greater than you. No one can ever take your place for you. Remember the same. You are wiser than what people say you are. You are mightier than what people say you are. You are awesome than what people say you are. There is no one to compare on today. There is no one to compare on today. We give you glory. We give you praise. Have your way, mighty man in battle. Have your way, king of glory. Have your way in the lives of your people. Father, Lord God, I begin to make a demand upon this anointing. I begin to make a demand over the grace of my father. Father Lord, with this anointing that is present here, echo brand sikalata. Father Lord, begin to give them a tangible reason to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to give them that reason to testify. Give them that reason to smile again in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The word and prophecy receiving by woman of God, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. We are honored to have you here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are going to be so brief with this session, and I just want you to stay connected. I just want you to stay connected. For each and every one that are joining the live broadcast, God bless you. As you come in, do not forget to like the video. Just give the video a thumbs up, because the Lord is about to do something new in the life of someone. God is about to do something new in the life of someone. As we are worshiping God, I see somebody. You've been in a country for almost three years today. You've been in this particular country, and you'll be believing God for a visa, like a person permanent stay in this place, but it's not forthcoming. I see the Lord giving it to you. I see God putting it into your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see Yahweh giving you that visa. In the mighty name of Jesus. I mean, that stay, the green kaya, to establish you in that land. I see God doing it for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, they that know their God shall be strong. Hey, and shall do exploit. Someone is about to do exploit in the land in which he or she is right now in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah glory to god the holy spirit just gave me a reminder i spoke about us praying for the wherever we are the location in which we are the countries in which we are right now i just want you to just type wherever you are watching me from if you're watching me from the u.s be specific about it just be specific about it where you're watching me from just say you're watching me from this and this that yes let me just it is time for us 
us to pray. There are some great declarations that are going to be made. Sister Jessica said from the UK. Thank you so much, Sister Jessica. Oh, the word of prophecy receiving. But woman of God says, I'm watching from Cameroon. Oh, my God, goodness. God bless each and everyone that has been that is obeying this instruction. God is about to change your story. I see help coming powerfully in the life of someone. I see help coming powerfully in the life of someone. Maku badaba shikalata. Oh, Makina Kon Shikalata Benita G. Se Brokton. Oh, God bless you. Hallelujah. E Kubran Si Gabron Sokoporwa Kate Shaka. E Lebron Shamana Kapara Kate. E Lego Bondon Shama Kantele Koshaka. E Zekon Shamala Kate Kate. E Bros Soko Brante Leko Shaka. Liga Bron Somorwa Kate Kata. E Lebron Sokro Sokri Kabantolo. E Barwa Kate Shakalata in the mighty name of Jesus. Sing as I'm watching for sounds from South Africa. Hallelujah, great people of God. And the Lord began teaching me. I came to understand a lot of things about the about the location and your country in which you are in. What would determine your success? What would determine your progress? Is in the place that you are living. It is about the country in which you are in. So many people have missed it because God wanted them to be somewhere else. And right now, because of the anxiety, not because of the curiosity, and because of what they have been hearing and about another land now they will carry themselves to start to, to, to travel to another destination the worst thing you can ever do to yourself is to leave your divine place of assignment where God has instructed you to be and go to a place that the Lord did not ask you to. It is a painful act because you go there and you find yourself, you noticing that everything began rejecting you and you're asking yourself, people come here and they succeed. People come here and they make money. People come here and they are in haunt of greener pastures. But why is it that my case is different? Honey, it is because it's not, you did not key into what the Lord instructed you to do. You did not key into what God asked you to do a, a, a small obedient like you are you trying to act on what the lord has asked you to do is of a great help because that is where your blessing is being taught to a lot of people have left your hometowns left your loved ones left their wives left your children in search of greener pastures and when they get to this place and they start suffering you will notice that they are in their house but they, when people notice that they have traveled out of the country they feel like it is different and they feel like they are excelling they feel like they are doing all right but if only you know what they are going through in the places in which they are you're gonna weep for them you are gonna cry for them sometimes some women call you and ask i don't know if god actually sends me to this place that i am in how to know that you in the in the place that you are in right now that god sent you i told us one last time that whenever your peace is being tempered it means that wherever you are god did not actually sent you there whenever you have a peace that is tempered with because god loves his children for their peace to be intact whenever your peace is being tempered with you're very unstable very un unproductive and you notice a lot of things cannot go well you cannot work you cannot think well but now when you're in a place and you know that your peace is being tempered you can no longer act well. You are not just you, and you know that everything is not all right. One thing I love the word of God is, is bears you weakness. The spirit of God bears you weakness. There is this thing, conviction. You feel it whenever you're doing what is correct. So people step out of their place of destiny and travel to a land that God did not send them there. Some people will leave where they are, the state in which they were, first of all, and now go to another state and start. Whereas the Bible says, the glory of the late greater than that of the former, and there he shall build his peace. And God spoke about it in addition to tell you that if yesterday was better than today, we wouldn't have seen the day of today. But it makes it more wiser because if you had a bad day yesterday, today will be better. In such a manner, there is something that will come up that will put a smile on your face. And it says his peace, there will I build my peace, which means his peace must be established in that land. You feel it somehow, you know that in this land, I'm going to make it. In this same land, I'm going to make it. Some people go there and say, after studies, I will live here to this place. And because what I feel in my spirit is that my dream country is going to be this. My dream country is going to be this place. But now at the end of the day, due to lack of finances, they don't find themselves in the place that they ought to.
to be. It also goes to home. You pack your things and you leave the house that you, you began seeing God's blessings. You leave the house that there was no sickness and you get to a house where as you enter that house, house attacks start coming sickness everywhere you're spending money from left and right from hospital to hospital it is because we do a lot of things without consoling god without asking god if this is correct for me to do that's one mistake believer do that's one thing we do when believer you have money you just believe that as long as you have the money you can just go ahead and do whatever thing you want to do no honey it's not all about your money money with wrong decision can keep your destiny down for a lifetime. Money with wrong decision can make you miserable for a lifetime. Money without good decision can make you stagnant for a lifetime. Money without good decision can cause pain into the life of your, your, your loved one and pain into the life of your children. We are going to pray. Father, wherever I am right now, my location, the country in which I am in, if it is by your will, I beg, please, Make things keep on going well for me. But if it is not by your will, if you want me out of this place, Father, let there be a better option. Oh, Father, even if it's not your will, find a way to satisfy me in this land. Imagine that your parents sold whatever thing they had, sold their lands and everything to send you out of the country. That you find yourself in a wrong country that you cannot even send the money for Gary. You find yourself in a country that you cannot even put a square me. Even yourself, you cannot even eat. You cannot fend for yourself. You cannot take care of your loved ones. You cannot take care of your... They, they, each time they call you, brother, sister, we need money. Um, this thing is happening. We need this in school. Your parents sent you because they knew that. You will assist your younger ones. But you're crying every day. You're weeping in the streets. You're sleeping in the street and you're telling yourself, if only they know what I'm going through. If only they know what I am going through, they wouldn't have been so curious about this. I can never forget. My mom, my parents wanted me to travel by all costs. The, my, my, our first uh, born, my, my mom's first child, and the second, the person I'm directly behind, when they travel out of the country, they saw opportunities there and they called my mom and my father. They said, she needs to travel. I said, before we travel, let's go and see my father in the law. We should go and see our father in the law. Let him say something. We went there the first time. At that moment, I was not really eager about traveling. He says, no. This one will not travel. She has the call of God. She will sit here and intercede for those that have gone ahead. As a matter of fact, her destiny is not out of the country. Let her be. With time, she will travel. We went, we went back to the house. They wake up another time again. That let's go there. Let's go there. You will travel. We went again. He drove us back. That you are not traveling. I have said it. No traveling. We came back. Now the third time I picked interest for traveling, I wanted to travel. Now it's by self. I just wanted to travel by all because I'm tired of this. And we went back. He says, is it that you don't hear? Your destiny is not out there. You cannot travel. Whom you will get married to is not out there. It's here. So I'm sorry, my daughter. You push to go back home. You will not travel. Forget about it. I says, okay, daddy, thank you. I came back and I stayed. I began in I said, father, you have put the burden upon me. My family burden is upon me. I began praying for them. I began crying for them. I began praying for them. I said, Father, begin to change situations. And whenever they called, is it I'm in church? Is it I'm, I'm, I was, I said, Father, if there is nothing I, I, I've, I've done perfectly, but when it comes to this one, you, let me do it. My, let me do it. The, the, the fact, let it be the best thing I've ever done in my life. And I noticed when I began praying, I began interceding for them because out of the country, we what they explained to me. They say, you don't even have time for yourself. Sometimes they walk and walk. When you call them, you look at them, how miserable they are. Sometimes I start crying. I say, is that how you put us up? They say, yes. We don't even have time to eat. We are just there walking, walking, walking. I was there interceding for them. I say, Father, I know things are going to be brighter. I was there praying. Because God has kept me here to help and break whatever thing that has been holding us down for us not to excel. Marriage was a problem. Serious, it was a serious problem. And I never knew that would be the one to break the marriage curse that was holding us for us not to settle. Yes, they all have fiance, but no one has settled maritally has done anything right. And I was just praying, and God did not even give it as a blink as, as a cleanse to me. All I knew is that if it settles me early, maybe I'm gonna concentrate with my family, and then I might not be interceding the way I was supposed to be interceding. But we are never wiser than God. So when I keep on putting my prayers and everything, when it was time. It came, boop, 
why they came for my younger sister that was behind me and they came for my other the, 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 the last born that is a girl they came for her for her honey marriage and collectors on list and everything I said, okay the case is broken they says no they have to do everything that when it comes to the court the tradition and everything and the white wedding i was like who, who is why is it going to happen and god says you are the one to break this curse. It wasn't up to six months. And I stayed. And when, it, when God said that, I laughed. I said, I don't even, I, I don't even, I don't even have a relationship. How am I going to do this? I said, but you know, how am I going to do this? He says, just watch and see. Just watch and see. All of a sudden, my husband came along. And that is how things just unfold. Pap! Immediately. Three weddings. Pap! Um, 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 traditional white and caught i'm like god is this how wonderful you are it's not up to three weeks that's just from performing right for the other one that is in the u.s the last in fact things are things are just opening everybody now wants to get the one that is i'm directly behind starting to get just imagine imagine that i traveled and i forgot about the destiny of my sisters oh that god has put that body in me to be an intercessor and pray and to be the, the, the woman of God in my family. And I decided to disobey as it's because of self. I want to enter that plane and go somewhere and feel free in my life. I want to stand beside the car and stand this where snows are and snap pictures and send them to camera and make people feel like, okay, this girl is exploding life. But that is not it. It is better to sit at the corner he has placed you, have a peace of mind and intercede in the location in which you are in. Whoever is moving from higher high, whoever is going to another country, that makes a lot of sense. It does not mean that you cannot go there. Give time some time. And I came to understand that the things you cry for, the things that you look at it as if you never achieve them, just give it time. The Bible says there is a time for everything. You are going to pray. Wherever you are right now, there are some people, you are, you are feeling inconvenient out there, but you cannot tell people. You are just there because you know that situation has kept you there. You cannot even explain yourself to anybody. You are going to pray. Only God can help you. Only God can help you. Just open your mouth and begin to make that a prayer point. Eshakabadabonsukalata. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, may I not miss my divine place of assignment. You are going to make that a prayer point. Father, may I not miss my divine place of assignment. Open your mouth and make that a prayer point. May I not miss my divine place of assignment. May I not miss my divine place of assignment. Father, wherever you have kept me, oh, when it is time for me to move, may I be so sensitive to know exactly when to move. May I not miss my divine place of assignment in the mighty name of Jesus. May I not miss my divine place of assignment in the mighty name of Jesus. May I not be carried away with what I see. People of God, begin to pray. Begin to pray. May I not miss my divine place of assignment. May I not miss my divine place of assignment in the mighty name of Jesus. May we not miss a divine place of assignment in the mighty name of Jesus. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. By the reason of your presence in this service, may you not miss your divine place of assignment in the name of Jesus. Wherever God wants you to be, wherever God wants you to be, is going to come easily. Trust you me. Trust me, it's going to come easily. When I used to hear people tell me, say, oh, you serve God, oh my God, you intercede, you this. And sometimes I will cry. The word I'm prophesying receiving was my very, my friend. Almost I'm with her almost every day. Sometimes I would talk to her, she says, when I was still single then, and I would cry to her, says, ah, my friend, I am tired. She says, no, my friend, you don't have to be tired. I, I, you are a great woman of God. I, I see this particular woman of God here in our nation. I'm seeing you like, she will encourage me. She would talk to me. She would speak what to me. She would, we just need, we need it. 
I said, so is it that if I go out there, it's going to be better? And I, I came to understand when the peace of God started falling upon me and I said, oh, imagine I traveled out of the country. And not a time will come. I will travel with my family. I will tour around the way and I will come back because of an instruction that the spiritual father said, no, you are not traveling. You are the woman of God of the family. Stay there and intercede for your family. You all cannot go. If you hear the kind of opportunities, I was so tempted and I needed to go. I said, I must go. I must go. I said, Father, if I don't go, hey, mama, if I don't go, I thank God for good friends that stood. I thank God for good friends that stood by me. Sometimes I pray until I pray, and then my same sisters would talk, we just turn and start persecuting. All you know is prayers. Hey, don't pray for us. Eh? All the time we call you, we are praying. All the time we are calling you, we call to that and say, God said I should not do when it start happening. When I say they should not do this, and they, they maybe they, they, they just they, they not obey it and they go and do it and they start manifesting. Say, oh, sorry, man, will not be no, will not be no. Say, so go, what? sorry, sorry. Okay, keep on praying. And then she'll wake up one day, especially the person I'm behind her. She's so strict. She'll just wake up. From morning to afternoon, she will abuse me until I just have to turn off my phone. I'm like, oh, my own has come. She will abuse me. Well, who, who gave you a job? Who gave you a job that should be moving around praying? Who gave you a job? Go and look for something. I say, I'm trying. I'm hustling. I'm moving around selling. I'm, I'm, I'm hawking. They say, I'm praying for you people. They say, no, who gave you a job? Hey, you travel and come. They say, all of us hustling. They will never understand. Now everything is working together for our good. Prayers are investment. There is no prayer you pray, it goes to waste. There is no prayer you pray and you feel like God has not answered you like, I pray that prayer and God did not say anything. No, honey, it's been kept in the storehouse. One day, when God will want to release it, it will be one, one at a time. And you see those blessings coming. You're like, I pray for this thing. I pray for this thing. That is why it's, it's good to have it. Excuse me, a good notebook like this, so that you put the things that you're praying for. So when God, when God answer your prayer, you go there and seek it. It gives you more courage. It gives you more faith to go about it. It gives you more faith to go about it. They abuse my half life. I look at my life and say, "Oh, I just don't finish." If it happens that you just serve God, then when it is time, if God calls you, you just go in quietly. Don't kill yourself. There be a moment that I need mean serve God until it gets to a time. I was praying with my sisters, uh, the professor and Stephen, but we're praying. I'm like, Father, they hear me praying. They came one day, they hear me praying, and they're like, where, where are you? I said, Father, please call me home. Put me to rest. Put me to rest. And they went and reported to Pastor Ete that, you hear what I, I was praying that, Father? She called me and said, Sleep, I'm, when God will satisfy you, you just say, Madam, come home. I said, No, sorry, I didn't know. I, I was just saying, my, my body was tired. I, I never know what to do anymore. I never knew what to do. I was just tired. Maybe up there will be different. See, that sometimes God gets to deal with your flesh, God gets to crush your flesh. God gets to make you in such a way that God breaks you. Before that blessings come, God breaks you, breaks you, breaks you until you want you, you feel like you're, you're, you're nothing. When you start feeling that way, like you're nothing, nothing means anything to you. Dress doesn't matter. The money you walk, it doesn't matter to you. All you want to see is to see someone smile. All you want to do, the things that you never find yourself doing, that you just see the things, things that you used to, you, you, can, you, you could kill if somebody temper with those things. When it becomes a time that all those things does not matter anymore, know that you are at that point. Know that you are at that point. Somebody will just come like that. Just take your one best nice shoes and go with it. You're like, mommy, carry and go. Take it and go. Eh, take, take, take the bag and go. Eh, okay, therefore, uh, no, no, bring my sim card. Take it and go. When God has crushed you, when God has crushed you, by crushing you, it should be at your divine place of assignment. So that when that crushing is over, now the blessings comes in and start manifesting. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. Wherever you are watching me from right now, the country in which you are in right now, as your feet are step into that land, I pray for you on that grace. May God begin to work out things for you in the name of Jesus. May God begin to work out things for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God begin to work out things for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, hey, 
That land that you are in right now will not fail you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You might have sacrificed your all to carry yourself to that land in which you are in right now. And you are hoping for a better future. You are hoping for a better destiny for tomorrow. Our God with self will not fail you. The God with self will not fail you. When it is time for you to move, you will be so sensitive that you will not miss your time. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will be so sensitive that you will not miss your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will be so sensitive that you will not miss God's blessing over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. For each and every one believing God for a stay. Wherever you are, the country in which you are in. Believing God for a visa. Believing God for a move. If God has not impressed it in your spirit, honey, calm down and keep doing his work. When it is time, it will definitely come easy. That thing that will make you stress because you feel like if you don't have it, you will die. It's not of God. I came to put down the heart of someone. Somebody is having anxiety right now. There is this curiosity in your spirit that, Father, I must get to this place by this particular point in time. One thing with God is like you don't give him time. He's the God that has his own calendar. He decided when and and what and what time to bless you so you got to calm down yourself i pray for each and every one of you that are connecting right now as your hearts are lifted up as your spirit are crying up to jesus uh, the lord himself will not fail you in the mighty name of jesus i see your visa coming to you receive it in the mighty name of jesus wherever your legs are possessed you are taking over that land in the name of jesus money will answer to you that land will answer to you in the mighty name of jesus i said money will answer to you that land will answer to you in the mighty name of jesus you will not fail your parents back at home you will not fail your parents back at home it is painful when they sold everything they had to send you out still here you cannot even keep give them a, a three square me it is painful when they call you and complain about a situation you cannot help them i pray for you on that grace whatever thing you're going through right now help comes to you in that country in which you are in i say the help of god comes upon you in the mighty name of jesus in that country in which you are in right now i say the help of god comes upon you in the mighty name of jesus receive it Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. When it's your turn to move, I pray stress-free. You will not stress in the name of Jesus. Yes. Mabel, U.S. will not fail you. U.S. will not fail you. You will possess that land. Money will answer to you. Dollars will answer to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. As you mention your country, says it will not fail me. Sister Jessica, UK will not fail you. You might have a plan in mind. But let me tell you something. I said the place in which you are in right now. I said that UK you are in right now will not fail you. You will see God opening things for you there. Wonder. Say, Type your country and, and say, Cameroon will not fail me. If you are, you are wherever you are, just type it. Yes, Rahiza, South Africa will not fail you. Sister Jessica, UK will not fail you. Masha, bada, 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 Yes, my bear, USA will not fail you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mommy Clemens, US will not fail you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Shamana Gonshaka, type your country. And says, this country will not fail me. Yes, singer, South Africa will not fail you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, woman of God. Prophecy will save him. Wow. He will respond to you powerfully. <laughs> Cameroon will respond to you powerfully, woman of God. Shabada basu. Cameron will respond to us powerfully in the name of Jesus. I join my faith with yours. He will not fail us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Mako bada boshi kalata. Esu galata do shakalata. Neko brakon su kalata taken sokoloto. Esu kata. Hey, he says, I'm ready to move to another state. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you, Swastika. I want to pray for you. I pray for you. Swastika. I pray for you on that grace. Makwa Gosu Kalata. Erwa Kati Shaka. May everything works for you in the name of Jesus. If it is the will of God, let it be done over your life in the name of Jesus. I see a little bit of delay, but it's going to be okay. Yes, the country will not fail you. I says he will not fail you in the name of Jesus. 
Yes, Black Goon 95, USA will not fail you. For each and every one of you, connecting distance is not a barrier. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. The various countries in which you are in right now, it will not fail you. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name, amen. Go ahead and thank the Lord. Go ahead and thank the Lord, somebody. If you want to connect, you're connecting with the seed, begin to connect with the seed. Begin to connect, begin to connect. Makua Gazi Balata, begin to connect and speak to that country as you're connecting. Be tapping your leg and say, my leg is already on this ground. I am possessing my possession. If you want to do that, just go ahead and do it. If you have never planted a seed before, I think this opportunity is not, it should not be a one that you should miss. Just plant it as it's part of my divine place of assignment. It will not fill me. Just begin to plant a seed. Begin to plant a seed. God bless you. Me, I'll go to church tomorrow. I'm going to plant my own seed because I've seen God working wonders in my life here in Cameroon. Had it been I travel out of the country, who knows? Maybe I wouldn't have been married by now. Maybe I wouldn't have been this glorious woman of God that I am, I, 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 I am right now. Maybe now I wouldn't have learned a lot from my spiritual father that has taught me a lot of things about how life should go. Maybe even hearing the voice of God, it wouldn't have been possible for me. But I hear God because why I sat at my divine place of assignment because the Lord asked me to wait. I make a prophetic declaration. You will not miss your time in the mighty name of Jesus. As you begin to connect, your seats are blessed. As you begin to connect, Yes, your location will not fail you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Sister Jessica. Oh, not everyone, not everyone needs to relocate out of the whole country. Going for holidays is enough. Ah, thank God I did not make that mistake. Thank God I did not make that mistake. God is faithful. I bless your life. You are blessed beyond praise. You are lifted. The hand of the Lord comes upon you in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing you touch is blessed. Whatever thing you touch is blessed. Susan Lee, U.S. will not fail you. Please, if I've not mentioned your own, please, it's because maybe I did not see. Please pardon my manners. But all of you that are here for prayers, the country, your location, whatever the state in which you are in, it will not fail you. The state in which you are in will not fail you. God bless you all. As it's connect, just connect. Connect with the seed and says, I connect myself to this country. I am possessing my position. It will not fill me. It will not fill my family. Just go ahead and do it. I've never asked for that. It's an instruction. I have never asked for that. It's an instruction. Me, myself, I'm going to be joining my faith with my sister tomorrow in church. We are going to be connecting because God is helping us here. We are living more better than some people out there by his grace, by his glory. Says Cameroon will not fail me. Your countries will not fail you. In the name of Jesus. You want to plant your offering, you want to plant a seed, your time and everything, go ahead. This is the right time for you to do it. You check out my about for those that are trying to get my, my, my information. You check out my about, you are going to see everything there. And just go ahead and do it. God bless you. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and thank the Lord. Go ahead and thank the Lord somebody. Go ahead and thank the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. God bless you all. God bless you. You are blessed beyond curse. You are lifted. The hand of the Lord comes upon you. As every blessing you have received here is permanent. The lands in which you are, in the countries in which you are, in will answer for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Mam KPL, the land in which you are, it will answer for you in the name of Jesus. I use your seed as a point of contact. Your, the land is opening up for you. This land is opening up for you. What you are unable to do before, you will do it 10 times in the name of Jesus. The finances you were able to touch before, you will touch it 10 times in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I pray for you. You're going out and coming in is blessed. Whatever thing you touch is blessed. You are preserved. You are protected. The hand of the Lord comes upon you. You are safe in the countries in which you are in. God bless you. God meet you at the very point of your need. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.
Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forever. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, family. I love you all so much. I keep interceding for you. If you have a prayer request, don't forget to send it at my mail. I am going to be interceding with you. Just mail me, and we are going to talk there better. God bless you. My membership form is available. If you want to join as a member, as a woman of God, I want to be your member. I want to be a member that you intercede for. Whenever I have a worries, or I want to hear God and hear what God is saying. I'll come and we pray together. Just go ahead, check on my about, directly close to my subscribers, you are going to see. Click in, you, you click in and you join the membership. God bless you. I love you, family. I got to go. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. By the grace of God, tomorrow is Sunday. We are going to be meeting. We are going to be praying by the glory of God. I wish you a glorious weekend. I love you, family. Stay blessed. You are lifted in your countries. In Jesus' name, amen.